Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to enable story points on issues that are not epics or stories. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, help me get to a thousand subscribers. And if you find any value in this video, drop a like, hit that thumbs up. And finally, if you have any questions about anything that I cover in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so out of the box, Jira is going to allow you to, for every story, be able to add story points. But if you ever have like a bug, and I'm gonna move my eight bugs life up here, you'll notice that there is no bubble here for a bug. Now, you may be wondering, well, what is, what's it supposed to look like? So when I bring in a story, a bug story, <laughs> just on my Bugs Life theme, when I bring it in, you'll notice that there's a circle or an oval with a dash, and that just means I haven't provided a story point value. But on the bug, it's not even there. Same thing happens when I bring in a task. When I'm bringing in a task, you'll notice I don't have the ability to actually even add the, the value for the story point to a task or a bug. So epics, when you open up the epic, you'll notice that I do and have the ability to put story points here. I can put a, a value. However, because you don't plan your epics, you don't see the epics, like you can't actually put an epic into a sprint. There's not a lot of value in it. So I don't know why at lasting gives you that option to have epics and only stories as the default ones. But in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to basically add story points to whatever issue types you want, whether it's a subtask, a task, a bug, or any other custom issue type that you may have. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the right power. So you're going to want to be a Jira admin. And essentially you want to be able to see this menu with issues. If you can't see this, then you're gonna to wanna to go back and um, essentially talk to your admins. Maybe they have to do it for you on your behalf, or or maybe your company, your team can grant you access and you'll be able to do this now. So anyways, click on the gear, go to issues. From here on the left side, we're going to go to custom fields. This seems a little counterintuitive. Story points is a, a out of the box field that comes with Jira, but for whatever reason, you gotta to go to the custom field. So I don't know why that is. Um, but you click on story and then you'll see story points. Now you do see story point estimate and story points. There is, there is a pretty big difference. So if you want to know the difference between the two, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to make a video on that. I know I went there, but uh, I need the views. I need, the, I need to grow this channel. So anyways, you're going to want to not click on story points. You're going to want to come all the way to the right to the ellipses and there is a context and default value. You want to click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to see right away where our, our problem is. When you look at these applicable contexts for the scheme, you'll notice that it only has epics and stories. And therein lies the problem as to why you can't even add the story points to this task or, or bugs or, or subtasks for that matter. Right. And so what you want to do here is you want to click on the edit, the configuration. And there's a couple of things you can do. You can be prescriptive and say, hey, well, I only want my stories and my tasks to have it and then my epics but not the bugs right or just again depending on the type of company or the type of team you're running here you can just say hey you know what just just give it to everybody all the issue types so it just depends on what you want and how you want to do this for the purposes of this demo i'm going to show you how to do it for any issue type because i typically do want to have an some sort of a, a, a guess as to what's the level of effort here for this particular issue, uh, regardless of what kind of issue it is, right? If it's going to take time and it's going to take money to basically uh, do what calories are going to be spent, I want to know at least a rough order of estimate, like how many calories are we talking about here? So I like to enable it on all the issue types. Additionally, you can also pick which of these projects this applies to, and I'm just going to do it for all the issues in Jira. So once you have that setting, you can click on modify, and now it'll be for all global all issues. At this point, we can now go back to our Jira project. I'll go back to my backlog where we started this video. And you'll notice that my tasks and my bugs now have that oval with the dash in it. And now that story point field is visible and you can basically drop your story point values here. If for whatever reason, the story point field is not visible, then you want to go and add the field to your screens. 
out of the box, it's, this is what happens. But if you've already made some customizations to your screen schemes or just your screens in general, you may want to go back to your screen and make the necessary changes there to bring in the story point field. So that's it for this video. If you found value in this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. It really, really does help a lot tremendously. So please, please, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.